Hi everybody, welcome to PK Maths channel. Now I am explaining today on words even engineering mathematics also. So many of our students are asking about engineering mathematics. So now we are introducing in PK Maths channel engineering mathematics also. So everybody who already completed your PU and you started joining in engineering and you are facing a little bit uh, doubts in engineering mathematics M1, M2 as well as M3. So we are explaining all M1 and M2 and M3 also. But at present, so many M3 students, that means the students who are studying the sec th second year, third semester of uh, engineering, they are asking about uh, these concepts. So today we will start the first concept of uh, basic formulas of Laplace transformations. Dear students, what is the Laplace transformation? What is the basic formula of Laplace, uh, Laplace transformation means? Laplace of f of t is equal to 0 to infinity e power minus st into f of t. This is the basic formula. You can write like this also. Laplace of f of t is equal to, instead of writing 0 to infinity, you can write 0 to a e power minus st into f of t dt plus a to infinity e power minus st into f of t dt. And you can also write like this also 0 to a e power minus st f of t dt plus a to b e power minus st into f of t dt plus b to infinity e power minus st into f of t dt all these three give the same meaning because the limit is changing here lower limit 0 upper limit a here lower limit a upper limit infinity a a get cancelled you will get the same formula in this a a cancel b b cancel you will get the same formula According to the given question, whatever limits they can give, you can apply that limits and you can rewrite the uh, question, uh, given question like this in Laplace transformation. Understand, this is the basic formula of Laplace transformation, dear students. We will discuss the next formula. The next formula is, dear students, uh, Laplace of 1, 1 by S. Laplace of 2, 2 by S. Laplace of 10, 10 by S. Laplace of A, A by S. Laplace of 2A, 2A by S. Like this, if constant is given means we are finding the Laplace of uh, Laplace transform of given function is like this. Okay. Suppose Laplace of 100, what you can write? 100 by S. Whenever constant is given, you can write like this. Understand? Dear students, the next formula what we need to discuss in Laplace is uh, Laplace of e power a t. Laplace of e power a t is equal to, just you observe Laplace of e power a t, 1 by s minus a. 1 by s minus a. Suppose dear students, Laplace of e power 2 t is given. 1 by s minus 2. Laplace of e power 3 t, 1 by s minus 3. Laplace of e power t, 1 by s minus 1. Suppose, Laplace of e power minus 2t they are given 1 by s minus of minus 2 it is nothing but 1 by s plus 2. Suppose Laplace of e power minus 3t is given how to write dear students 1 by s plus 3. Laplace of e power minus 4t given how to write 1 by s plus 4. Power negative is there you are getting plus uh, power positive is there you will get minus. What is the formula? Laplace of e power a t is equal to 1 by s minus a. Very very important formula. Even in the problem, so we are using this formula. Understand everyone what I am explaining? Next we will go to the next formula. The next formula is Laplace of uh, sin a t. Laplace of sin a t is equal to a by s square plus a square. Suppose dear students, Laplace of sin t given. In place of a what is there? 1 is there. 1 by s square plus 1 square. Laplace of sin 2t given, how to write? 1 by, no, no, 2 by, because a means 2, s square plus 2 square. Suppose last, Laplace of sin 4t given, 4 by s square plus 4 square, it is nothing but 4 by s square plus 16. This is nothing but 2 by s square plus 4. Suppose Laplace of sin 3t given, what is Laplace of sin 3t? 3 by s square plus 3 square, it is nothing but 3 by s square plus 9. So what is another formula we are discussing in Laplace is? 
Laplace of sin AB is equal to A by S square plus A square. Numerator A. If sin K means numerator A, dear students. We will go to the next formula. Suppose, dear students, Laplace of cos AD is given. Laplace of cos AD is S by S square plus A square. Sin you wrote A by S square plus A square. Cos AD means S by S square plus A square. Suppose, Laplace of cos 2T given how to write S by S square plus 2 square. Laplace of cos 3T given how to write S by S square plus 3 square. That is nothing but S by S square plus 9. Suppose, Laplace of cos T given. Whenever cos T given means A is 1 now. So, S by S square plus 1 square. Similarly, Laplace of cos 4t given how to write? S by S square plus 4 square. It is nothing but S by S square plus 16. When sign given means numerator A, when cos given means numerator is S. Sir. That you can remember dear students. Okay. Next formula. The next formula is uh, Laplace of sign HAD. Hyperbolic HAD. A by S square minus A square. Only sin a t given means a by s square plus a square. But here, sin h a t a by s square minus a square. Let us assume L of sin h 2 t is given. How to write? 2 by s square minus 2 square. That is nothing but 2 by s square minus 4. Similarly, Laplace of sin h 3 t is given. How to write? 3 by s square minus 3 square. It is nothing but 3 by s square minus 9. Understand what I am explaining? Whenever H A T is given A by S square minus A square in hyperbolic inside. The next formula, suppose Laplace of cos H A T is given to students. How to write this one means uh, S by S square plus A square. S by S square minus A square, dear students. Okay. Suppose Laplace of cos H 2 T is given means uh, S by S square minus 2 square. It is nothing but S by S square minus 4. Similarly, Laplace of cos H3 T is given S by S square minus 3 square. It is nothing but S by S square minus 9. What is the difference between sin and cos means? In sin means numerator A. In cos means numerator is S. H is given means denominator negative for both. H is not given means denominator is positive for both. Understand? And still more the last formula in Laplace. What you need to remember? Laplace of T power A. Very important formula. Laplace of t power n is equal to n factorial by s power n plus 1. Laplace of t into sin t formula minus 1 whole power n into d power s by so in place of sin t let us assume f of t d s power n into f dash of t. Understand? So these are the formulas you need to remember before solving the Laplace transformation problems. In the next class of PK Maths channel, I will discuss the Laplace transformation problems. First, you go through this basic formula. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please subscribe PK Maths channel and press bell button for regular updates. Please share this video to all your engineering friends. Thank you very much.